For this week's Terra Incognita essay, uh, we sought to explore the notion of rule from the middle or rule by the middle in globalization's future. If you think about it, the world's never really been ruled by the middle. It's been ruled by elites. Sometimes in brief glimpses we see it ruled from below. But what's really interesting about globalization's expansion in these last couple of decades is it really creates this emerging reality of a global middle class that increasingly drives political change. So when you think about Tunisia, you think about Egypt, uh, at their heart, these are really middle class revolutions in the sense that the aspirations expressed are primarily about jobs, opportunity, decent income, and the like. So for a long time, we've been hearing that globalization's dark forces, the radicals, terrorists, uh, state capitalism, criminal networks, they're going to be driving the process, taking advantage of all the networking opportunities more than the, uh, the forces of good, if you will. And yet what we've seen here with the Facebook impact, the Twittering, everything else going on in North Africa, we see a lot of good forces taking advantage of these technologies and really pursuing an agenda that's very familiar to Western history. That is, how to make the middle class happy. So even though we interpret the rise of the rest, mostly in the West in terms of our fears of our own middle class existence being threatened, uh, Wikistrat likes to point out this is an inevitable and a very positive change. Uh, Goldman Sachs estimates th that there's as many as 70 million people added to a global middle class every year. So if you're willing to go down uh, as low as $10 per capita per day, uh, you're talking already about 60% of the population. And, and where is that tremendous growth in the middle class happen happening? It's, it's happening primarily in those mostly unfree countries, as we call them, that uh, make up the new core uh, or the gap regions, the less developed or the emerging markets. So we're talking about a lot of mostly unfree governments that are facing tremendous pressure from below. Uh, it won't reach a country like or a regime like China uh, very possibly anytime soon because you're really in those instances talking about tremendous interior rural poor populations that will keep the uh, government very much intransigent against the forces of political pluralism. But elsewhere, in countries like Tunisia and Egypt, uh, and other places where we think this can spread in the coming years and decades throughout Africa, for example, uh, you don't need the same huge numbers to trigger the sort of larger uh, political movement towards or political demands by uh, an increasingly self-empowered, self-confident, ambitious uh, segment of society, that middle class, to make that kind of political change happen. And so when you talk about a global middle class and a, and a global population altered by its emergence, you know, they want different things from the government than traditionally the poor or the rich do. What the poor want from government is protection from circumstances. What the rich want from government is protection, quite frankly, from the poor. But what the middle class wants is the hardest thing to deliver, and that's protection from the future. Uh, it's protection from uncertainty. The middle class has achieved a decent lifestyle and wants to pass it on slightly improved uh, to next generations. That immense expectation, not just for what needs to happen now, but what needs to happen for future generations, is a very powerful force. And we think we're going to see it happen time and time again, the sorts of events that we've witnessed in Tunisia and Egypt recently, and that this rule from the middle, this command from the middle in terms of the global economy, global polity, global um, security system, is going to be the dominant trend of the 21st century making that Mr. and Mrs. middle class, wherever they're from, happy, secure, uh, safe, uh, optimistic. That's what's going to make governments rise and fall.